welcome to the video guys today we're gonna be talking about mites on goats I'm gonna get all these guys in their stall because it's time to eat and we got a storm a brewing Ooh, look at all that Ugh, so gross it was it's, it was so nice out like 20 minutes ago and it's I'll show you look, look how nice it is over there then we got over here and it's just ugh, scary so I'll turn all these guys in and then we'll get started. Hey, uh, open. All right, single file. That's not a single file. Copper, what are you doing? Copper, that's not the way in. Figure it out. We, there you go. Woo. Run. <coughs> Copper, that's not your stall. Fiona, that's not your stall. What are y'all doing? You guys messed everything up. Copper. Copper. Stop. Go into your stall. That's, no, that's not yours. That's yours. Fiona. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. That's your stall. Oh, easier said than done. Happy goats. Okay. I got them all fed and all that's done. So. Yeah, getting them in is a hassle because they haven't eaten yet. They only eat at night. So, yeah. But we're going to talk about mites. Mites are typically found in straw and hay. If you have straw for bedding or hay for bedding, uh, straw and hay work best as bedding in the winters because they are, it helps keep them a little bit warmer. So I recommend using straw and hay for, well, not really hay because hay is expensive, but like straw mainly because straw is usually not that expensive. But the only thing if you do use straw, make sure you um, check for mites. Mites are typically found on their shanks, which is hi Lou. You'll if you from it's about here down, and if they have mites, you'll feel little scabs on them. She's good, and you'll feel them behind their dew claw, which is the little part right. Uh, she won't hold still, you know, goats, typical goats. But you'll feel like little scabs behind it. That's typically where they're mostly at is behind um, the dew claw. I think that's what you call them on goats. Not really sure. I know that's what you call them on dogs, but goats, I'm pretty sure that's it. But the shank is usually where they're at. So to treat them, I use ivermectin. Uh, it works really well. It's uh, When I get Izzy, Izzy here does have mites, so I am going to be retreating her. So like I said, when you f look for mites, uh, usually if they're in straw or hay, they will probably have mites. They're kind of the same thing as bird mites if you have chickens. Uh, your chickens probably have mites. Uh, usually they're not bad on birds, so on the chickens, it's not terrible for them. I mean, it's not good for them, but it's not like absolutely ter terrible. Um, it, they usually won't kill them unless it's really bad. Um, if they're if the goat mites on their legs, are you watching me? Goat mites on their legs, um, it does get really bad, so you kind of do have to treat them because you'll notice uh, hair loss on their legs and you'll see the scabs from their legs. Um, she had them really bad about a month ago. I treated her several times. I usually treat them about every two weeks because with ivermectin, you don't want to put too much of it on because it can like shock them and make them all weird and sick and stuff. So you want to be careful with treatment. You don't want to treat them too much. But uh, another thing is I heard you can use raw honey because raw honey kind of suffocates the leg. The only problem with raw honey is your goats will be sticky. And then they'll probably lick all, most of it off because I had assumed goats love honey. Uh, I use raw honey for like a lot of stuff. Like if um, I use it for like in the winters, if a, if a doe has kids nursing and they cut her udder up and stuff, I'll use raw honey to cover it because it heals it faster and it's nice. Raw honey works for a lot of stuff. But uh, mainly the mites is, I'm going to get Izzy up here on the stand. And Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. Izzy. That's Izzy. A little red doe. She's actually a red paint, which a lot of people are like, oh no, she's not a paint. She is a paint. Because she has, oh, I don't know if you can see, but she has two white socks. One on the right foot and one on the front right foot. And she also has a little tiny white spot on her belly. So she kind of is technically a paint. I mean, you can call her a red if you want, but she's most, uh, she would qualify as a paint. Which is really weird, but it is. So, we're gonna get her up on the stand. Um, I was kind of waiting for her to get done eating, but it really doesn't look like she wants to eat. My goats only eat once a day, but they get um, feed all night long because I give them a lot of feed at night, so they get to eat all night long. They get to eat grain all night long. So, and then on the during the day, I lock them out of here unless it is raining or it is terrible weather. 
I lock them out of here and send them out to pasture. This is a cattle pasture back there. You can see my I got my electric fence, and then I have a. Uh, you saw probably when I turned them all in, that goes all the way back out and around the barn, and they have a whole. They have two pastures, back on that side, of the barn. So, but this is a cattle pasture. It's all thick, lush stuff. But so, I'm gonna get Izzy up on the stand. I've said that like several times that I'm not doing it. Well, I'm gonna just kind of hold off and I'm kind of just trying to make sure I cover everything about mites. Like I said, straw and hay are the main causes of mites. Uh, straw and hay work best for winter bedding. Hay is expensive, but um, there's a couple different ways to do it. Uh, you can look up a couple things, but I use the Ivamectin uh, oral. What was it, oral? Is it? I can't remember if it's oral or injectable. I can't remember. I'll look at the bottle. I'll show you guys the bottle and everything and what I use and all that, and I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna get her up in the chute. But, so, I'm gonna try to catch her and carry her out to the chute my, with my crippled self, which is not great, but I have to do it. So, that's that, and let's warp to the chute. All right, we got everybody in. <sighs> Hectic, y'all know it's green time. Okay, back to something important. Okay, we're gonna talk about mites and goats. Um, I'm gonna go in here, <sighs> crippled. Being crippled is sucks. Okay, but we're gonna talk about mites on goats. Mites on goats, um, they usually live on their legs. It's typically where you'll find them, you'll find them behind their hock, or around their hock. Hi, Izzy. Izzy here just got treated for mites, because she had them really bad. But what they are, she actually ha still has them, I have to retreat her. But what they are is you'll feel between, it's right along their shank. If you feel their shank and you feel little scabs or it just, it feels like rough, like it's not like a leg. Well, it's the leg, but he, he is good. He's a good boy. But you wanna feel, uh, typically they'll be from here down from the um, knee down, and then right be behind their um, two claws, I believe that's what you call them on goats. Uh, you, you usually, that's usually where they're most likely at if they do have them. Izzy still has them, so I'm gonna have to retreat her. Where I'll do a clip on treating them. But how they get mites? Mites typically are found in straw and hay. Um, if you guys have chickens, you kind of know the whole mite situation. Uh, bird mites, that's kind of what they are. It's kind of like the same thing. But they live in hay and straw. So if you use straw for bedding, uh, make sure you treat your goats for mites because they will get them if they are on straw. And hay does the same thing. You don't really want to have bedding as hay. As you can see, I don't, but right now it is because I was feeding hay the other night and they just threw it all, but I usually rake it all out. But underneath that's mainly, it's this pen, the stall is mostly sawdust, but they kind of have hay in it right now. So I got to clean it, but I'll wait till I clean it before I remove the hay. But most of the time these goats are outside, so they're fine. But um, Izzy still has mites, which is this little red doe right here. A little problem child. So she still has mites. So the way to treat them is I use Ivamectin. Um, it's a, it's mainly for hogs and stuff like that. Sorry, someone messaged me and I was like, who? But um, it's mainly for hogs and stuff. I will show you that. I'm going to get Izzy here up on the stand when she's done eating. It'll be like five, ten minutes. I'm kind of just talking, wasting time. But uh, once they're done eating, uh, what I, I grain my goats. They only my goats only get fed at night, but you can see. All right, I got her in the stand. She's that she looks really glossy in this. But um, so for mites, like I said, she's eating right now, so I have her somewhat content. But for mites, for treating mites, this is what I use. That right there. So in order what to do is I take a syringe with a needle. Well, because that's how you draw it out. And basically all you do is just drip it around um, where the mites are. So like I'll just go, you want to be careful you don't prick them either. You just kind of pour it on like that. Just kind of get it on them and then just rub it in to their foot. Just like that. Rub it in. Get your whole leg full of it. That way. Usually this does work. It takes a couple days for it to actually like completely fully work. 
Now you gotta do both all feet. I know you don't like it. <laughs> all four feet. So I'm doing her back leg now. Another back leg. I know it feels weird. I know. All right, I'm gonna move over to the other side. I know, Izzy. I know, sweetheart. I know you don't like this, but you have to do it. it has to be done. I'm just trying to help you out. That's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to help you. I wish they understood that. You know, I'm trying to help them. <laughs> they don't. They do what they want to do because they're goats and they're spoiled. So that's just kind of, you can, there's a couple of other remedies you can do. Like I said, raw honey works. Um, I don't do raw honey because I just feel like they would eat it. Um, it probably would work, but I, I just, I don't know. It's not for me. <laughs> I would just prefer the ivermectin. It's a lot stronger. You can do like anything with ivermectin, I swear. Like there's so many things. I use it for rabbits, I use it for goats, I use it for everything. <laughs> yeah, so she's done. Um, I got her all treated. Uh, nobody else had any that I saw. Um, she was the only one that even had my... Kind of. You're gonna fall off the stand. You're gonna fall off. Yeah. You guys can look at her butt. <laughs> but, um, like I said, there's all kinds of different ways to do it. Uh, do what works for you. I experimented with a couple things, like a couple different things up. So, she was the only one I thought that actually had the mites. Alright, fine. You want to go? You can go. Run home. Go on. Run home. Go on. Be gone. Go on. Go on. Run home. And back home she goes. Not home home, but as good as we're going to get. Oh, she pushed the gate open. Wow, how smart. Yay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Got to lock the gate. Stop it. No. Mm. I'm going to set this down, and you're going to see me fight some goats. Special feature today. You little. Come here. That is not your pen. Spriggles! That is not. No, come here. Come here. No. Come on, guys. You guys can come in. You. Go. Back. Come here. You are in trouble. You do not open the gate. She opens the gate by ramming it because she. Ugh. Picky, picky. Goats, goats. So I need to put like another lock and chain on this thing. She keeps opening it. This isn't the first time that she's done it either. She does this up all the time. It makes me mad, but that's goats. But poor goats. These two, that's these two get locked in a separate pen because these two pick on Jill, and I feel bad for her. And that you can see, like she's like skittish about coming in. Jill's the white one, the white uh, big doe that I have. They pick on her non-stop. It's like, really? So they get separated at night because of that. So, uh. but like I said, there's a couple different remedies for mites. As you can hear, trying to get out again. Stop it now. See, got her attention. <laughs> I wear the pants in this barn. Cow, it's her. She is the problem child. Uh, what am I gonna do? She can stop it. Where's my football? I keep a football usually right here, and I throw it at them if they're being bad. But I don't know why she keeps doing this. She makes me so mad. But like I said, before I was yelling at the goats. There's a couple different ways to do it. You can use raw honey. This is my raw honey. This is for udder. I use it as udder balm too, or to heal an udder in case their udder gets cut up or something. So that way, because when the kids are nursing, they can't have, like, if you were to use ivermectin, you can't do that because it'll be tasting the ivermectin and the honey. They like the taste of honey. So that's what works for me. But like I said, you can experiment with a couple different things. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. I'm sure there is. I just figure ivermectin works best for me. That's just what works for me. Um, 
I mean, it, there, it's usually like $30 for a bottle of that. But I've had that bottle for two years, and it's not even halfway gone yet. But like I said, I don't have that many stuff. I use it more for rabbits than I use it for um, goats. Ugh, I pick up my crutches. But So I use it for different things. Uh, but ivermectin is the way to go for that, in my opinion. Like I said, I'm not telling you that that's the only way to do it, but I'm telling you that that's how I do it. And what, that's what it works for me. So, But Izzy was the only one with lights today. Shocker. She's always the problem child. But So, on that note, that's really the end of the video. I just wanted to go over mites because a lot of people don't know about it. And um, it can get really bad and very, very serious um, if, if left untreated. So, on that note, have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.